Hey everybody, Playtendo Guy here, and I'm back with another video. It's Monday, so you know what that means. It's time for another weekly pickups and deliveries video, where I'll go through all the stuff I picked up and had delivered in the past week. And overall, it's not a bad little haul, so without further ado, let's get into it. So yeah, for the past week I've picked up quite a fair bit of stuff. I've picked up over 10 titles. I've picked up one game, load of Blu-rays, and even a Blu-ray box set, which I got real cheap. So without further ado, let's just dive straight into it with the only game of the week. And that's uh, one that I unboxed with the channel the other day. And that's uh, Triangle Strategy. This is a game coming from Square Enix, well published by Square, Square Enix. And it's developed by the same team who done Octopath Traveler for the Switch back in 2018, 2019. And I played quite a few hours of this and it's a really fun strategy game. Very much in the lines of like the Final Fantasy Tactics series. So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more. I've heard like there's like alternative endings and like a decide your own destiny sort of paths where like different uh different dialogue choices affect the game in many different ways so on to the blu-rays now and i've ordered a load of these from like music magpie well three of them from music magpie pre-owned titles this is the first time i've done pre-owned through music magpie and they've arrived in pretty decent nick i've had to change the cases because some of the cases were pretty buggered one of them uh, I'll show later on a hack changed completely because it had loads of blockbuster stickers on But here is the first one and that is the boat that rocked I think this came out in like about 2009 2011 and this is basically telling sort of like a me a comedic take on The whole radio Caroline story that happened during the 60s, which was like an illegal radio station in the sea it broadcast loads of different hits of the time and it was like broadcasted like 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And all the people lived on the boat. And this basically just tells a sort of true to life tale of what actually happened and how the government tried to take the boat down. It's a lot of fun, it's quite funny, it's got a great soundtrack and a superb cast. You've got Philip Seymour Hoffman here, you've got Bill Nye, Reese Ifans, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Nick Frost and even Kenneth Branagh. But yes, it's got a great cast and it's also directed by Richard Curtis who done like Four Weddings and a Funeral and Love Actually and, a, and yeah, Notting Hill. So yeah, you do get loads of special features on here, you get like uh, deleted scenes, um, featurettes and commentary. I did look at the picture quality and it's actually pretty quite good. Not the best I've seen but alright for what it is and you do get artwork on the disc which is really great. So yeah. That is the boat that rocked and I think that only cost me like £2.50. Continuing on with the music magpie stuff and this is another music based one and this one's the biopic of Ian Dury in Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll. This film released in 2010 and it sees Andy Serkis taking up the role of Ian Dury who sadly passed away in the year 2000. I think he died in March 2000 and his last ever like gig or on-screen performance was in February of 2000. Unfortunately he passed away of cancer I think. But yeah this tells the story of Ian Jury and what happened during his life, how he caught polio and how he hit it big. And all the sorts of like trials and tribulations that went behind in his family life with his relationships and his children. Overall, I did watch this at the weekend and I thought it was a really, really good watch. It's certainly very out there and very eccentric and did have a unique way of telling his story, which I really did like. The film opens up and closes with like Ian Jury telling like an audience his uh, life story and I really did like that. And it did have flashbacks to like his past, like when he was a child and stuff with his father. So yeah. I honestly really did enjoy it. It's quite funny, it's quite sad, and it had a great soundtrack. So yeah, very well recommend uh, Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll. But yeah, that's the artwork on the disc. Yeah. Next up, we have a film with Johnny Depp, and this is the one that was in the real dodgy case, and that's Dark Shadows. This one's a rental copy from Blockbusters, and it had a huge sticker all the way down there saying like it's price. And you thought CEX stickers were hard to get off. This was horrendous. So I ended up having a check case away. It, it was 
really really had it um so yeah i finally found a use for my copy of zoolander 2 i used its case as a replacement so i could put this in but yeah i don't really know much about this i think it's actually based on like an old classic comedy tv series from the 60s or 70s and basically follows uh johnny depp's character who's like basically cursed by his ex-girlfriend played by Eva Green, who basically puts a curse on him, turns him into like a vampire of sorts, if I remember correctly. Anyway, he reawakens in the 70s to find out what's happened to his family business and what his various other things with his descendants. You do have Michelle Pfeiffer here, you have Chloe Grace Moretz, and you also have Helen Bonacarta. So it is a great cast here. I've heard the soundtrack's pretty good. Haven't watched it yet, but I'm really looking forward to watching it. It's directed by uh, Tim Burton, so I'm pretty no pretty sure what to expect. The final pre-owned one I picked up, this one was from Salo Vibay. I did watch this film I think a couple of weeks ago and honestly really did enjoy it. It, it is a film that's so bad it's kind of good and that's Rock of Ages in a lovely like purple case. Really cool. So basically this is based on like a stage show I think of the same name and just basically just is an excuse to listen to loads of great rock anthems from the 80s. It does have an all-star cast. You have Alec Baldwin, Russell Brand, Paul Giamatti, um, Catherine Cita Jones, and even Tom Cruise in a very, very good role. It looks like he had a lot of fun. Actually, it looked like everybody had a lot of fun in this film. It's definitely not a good film, but it's sort of cheesy and fun at the same time. I had a lot of fun with it, and this is the extended edition, which includes like a couple of songs that weren't included in the theatrical edition. Also, there's supposed to be some more bonus features in this. So, yeah, this only cost me like two quid. So, again, very happy to have that in the collection. No, not really much disc art, but really nice case. Up is a film that I picked up from the entertainment store as I watched the original last year and really enjoyed it. I watched the new one that came out on Netflix a few weeks ago and thought it was okay. I thought I'd pick up the 2003 remake and see what it's like. And that's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I've heard a lot of positive things about this one, saying that it's actually a really competent remake, and whilst it's not as good as the original, it's probably the second best Texas Chainsaw Massacre film out there. So yeah, I think it does have Jessica Biel in it, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not really know what to expect with it. It's probably a carbon copy of the original, just brought up to modern day standards. But I'm looking forward to watching it. I picked it up from the entertainment store for like a fiver. So I think that's a really good price considering it's £10 in CEX. Got a three for two deal on the entertainment store. So I've got these three films for about 15 quid. First up is Mal Gibson, Michelle Pfeiffer and Kurt Russell in Tequila Sunrise. Don't really know much about this. I mostly just got it for the cast alone. It looks like it's going to be a quite a cool sort of romance thriller with a great cast. So yeah, I'm... I have got no idea what to expect from this, but again, the cast won me over and I did watch the trailer and it looked pretty good. Next up, I picked up Gina Davis and Samuel L. Jackson in The Long Kiss Goodnight, which from the looks of it is just going to be an over-the-top action 90s film, which looks right up my alley. Samuel L. Jackson is always a great time and Gina Davis, I can only really know her from like Stuart Little and Thelma and Louise. So it'll be interesting to watch this one. But yeah, that is The Long Kiss Goodnight. And the final film I picked up in this 3 for 2 offer was a film I actually did watch last night. And you know what? I absolutely loved it. Honestly, it's gone up there as one of my favourite films now to watch. And that's Training Day. This one comes from the director Atine Wakwad. I can't really pronounce his name. So comes from the same director of the Magnificent Seven remake and the two Equalizer films which also did also star Denzel Washington and this one's a fantastic thriller set seeing like Ethan Hawke's character being like first day on this new job with Denzel Washington who's essentially a crooked cop and he shows him the way until things go awry and it basically it turns out to be a really cool ending. I won't say no more about it, but rest assured, it's a fantastic thriller. It's got a, it's got a pretty good soundtrack and all. You've also got uh, cameo appearances by Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. And yeah, that's your disc. Coloured disc, which is great. So yeah, that's training day. And the final delivery pickup I got, I've still got some more from H&B, is a box set. Now this box set's going for like about 60, 70, if not 80 quid on... H&B and I noticed it was online for like 20 quid so I thought you know what pick it up I have seen episodes in the past and really did enjoy it but I never did see the new series that came out a few years ago 
and that is Twin Peaks. Yes, um, very eccentric, very out there series by um, David Lynch. I have seen it years ago, but don't really remember too much about it. This comes with the original two series and also comes with like the limited event series that aired in like 2018. It doesn't come with the Fire Walk With Me uh, film, which I'll have to find, but I think it is on Criterion, so I could get it like that. But basically it comes with a load of discs, loads of special features, so a lot to watch here. It says here on the back, so grab a cup of coffee and a slice of cherry pie and experience the legendary mystery over and over again. So yeah, I'm looking forward to actually sitting down and actually watching the full Twin Peaks experience. What with this and Game of Thrones to watch, I've got plenty to dig into. So yeah, that is Twin Peaks, the television collection. Next up I went into uh, H&V and they had some sales on. I did notice this one on sale the other week and I was going to pick it up but I was a bit pessimistic as I heard it's quite a brutal watch and I did read the IMDB uh, description of it and it doesn't sound very pleasant but I thought I'd pick it up and see what it's like nevertheless and that's The Nightingale. This was released on the second site label and I know you can get like a limited edition box set with like art cards and like a booklet which is pretty cool but... For the standard release, that's normally like 20 quid to get it for 7 99 It's hard to say no. Basically, what happens is this young woman here has a terrible act of violence committed to, against her family. And she goes on like this massive revenge mission to try and get the guys who've done what they've done to her. Along with this dude here, who's like a tracker, I think. I don't really know too much about it. So I go in not knowing a lot. But I do know that the violence in this film is cranked up to 11. And it's quite an uncomfortable watch. But... I'm intrigued by it and kind of looking forward to watching it. So that is The Nightingale. And it does come in this absolutely lovely black case. So yeah. And then finally I picked up two for 12 in the Disney Blu-ray collection thing. Disney had a sale on again so I thought I'll pick up a couple of titles. It's a very odd sort of sale. They have like a mix of Disney classics, Pixar, Marvel and a few like 18 rated adult films. It's nothing... It's a, it's a bit of an odd sale, so the mix of titles are very weird. So I picked up Basil, the Great Mouse Detective, which is essentially just an animated version of Sherlock Holmes in this lovely slip. Very happy to have that in the collection. I have not seen this film before, so I'm very looking forward to watching it. Looks right up my street. So yeah, it does come in that, and you do get your lovely slipcase like this. I, I can't remember what year this came out in. I think this came out in the late... 80s so yeah this will be a first time watch and it is adding to my disney collection library and this was the film the final pickup is the one that i wanted to pick up the most in this hmv 2 for 12 cell and that is the last jewel i watched this when it hit disney plus on the day and i did enjoy it for what it was i, I wasn't very well at the time i think i had covid at the time so whilst i was paying attention i didn't fully appreciate this film but i did like it for what it was i thought it was a, probably one of ridley scott's best films in the past few years it's got a stellar cast here with adam driver matt damon and jodie comer and you also had ben affleck here as well but yeah it, it, it was a unique and interesting way of storytelling telling the same story three times from the three different witnesses which was a unique way and it all ends up in this like big duel the last duel and that was quite a brutal and bloody end to the film. I do think the film drags on a little bit, just over two and a half hours. But I did enjoy it and I'm looking forward to re-watching it in the future. I probably actually will put this in a black case because I think it would serve really good. But yeah, considering this only came out in like December and it's already on the 2 for 12. I'm very happy to have that in the collection. Um, as for bonus features, you do get the making of The Last Jewel. And you also get a theatrical trailer as well. So... A little bit light on the special features, but if I remember correctly, you can't actually get a 4K standard release of this. It's only available on a stillbook from Savvy, which is quite odd. But yeah, I should think the picture quality on this will be absolutely fantastic. Normally are from like Disney for these like big budget films. So yeah, that's the last jewel. So yeah, that's all the pickups and deliveries for the past week. Overall, not a bad little haul. 
tell me what you think of my pickups and deliveries in the comments section down below. What films would you recommend? What films wouldn't you? Just tell me all in the comments section down below and I'll get back to you. As always on Wednesday night, it's going to be another Wednesday night movie live stream with me, Mike and Andy, where we'll be joined by our special guest of the week. And that's James from Movie Bug, which will be absolutely fantastic to have him on the live stream and have a good chat with him. So see you all Wednesday night, half seven UK time for another fun movie live stream. Um, so yeah, thanks ever so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be totally awesome. And as always, till next time, bye.